dear um, Mr. Mizzi, since you are here, we are going to abuse. Uh, I'm very sorry, but uh, it's an opportunity we will not miss. Thank you very much to chair um, the next panel. Uh, the panelists, if they don't mind one after the other to come to present from uh, uh, this seat here. Uh, people following online will see as well the PowerPoints. They see you and the PowerPoints, so, and they have been all copied, so people you know, have it if it uh, helps in your presentation. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, um, uh, Leonard, and I give you the floor. And thank you very much, um, ASG, for uh, being with us this morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Zaline. And uh, I w it's a pleasure to, to chair this, this session. Uh, we are uh, 30 minutes late, but we'll try to, to compensate. Um, uh, we should break for el by 11, but I think we are flexible, so a bit flexible. So if we eat uh, uh, into 10 minutes, it, it's... It, <laughs> okay, so I would like to uh, to invite um, uh, and first introduce the panelists. We have uh, four um, speakers. Uh, Listra, you have the bio data in your pack, but just to to uh, give the synopsis, we we already introduced Listra. Uh, she's the CEO of the Global Food Safety Partnership. Then we have Christina Russell. And Christina is uh, a scientist at the Free University of Berlin and the International Livestock Research Institute. And her current work includes, amongst others, research on food safety and informal markets in Africa, uh, veterinary public health and science-informed policy engagement. And she holds a DVM and PhD in biomedical sciences. Uh, so she's very much into the veterinary side of uh, the food safety dimension. And then we have Michael, my colleague. He's the director for the food chain stakeholder international relations in Digisante. And he has been an official of the commission since 1991. He has worked in a number of private offices of commissioners. He has been also involved in the BSC and food mouth disease crisis creation of the DG, specifically on health protection and European Food Safety Authority. So Michael can clearly also look into the global dimension, EU dimension, and the trade aspects. And last but not least, Morig Webb. Morig is uh, from Colea SP. Um, uh, she's policy advisor, and uh, um, she has a farming background, and she has been in Colea SP for the last 15 years focusing on food safety, technical assistance, capacity building and value chains, and heading the R&D and market access team, addressing regulations, private standards, and buyer demands. So you have each around 10, 12 minutes. We try to um, keep to these uh, uh, time frames so that we'll have sufficient time for Q&A uh, given that the room is, uh, as Zolina said, quite full, it's quite a full house, so um, I would like to give the floor and kickstart this discussion by Listra. So, Listra, the floor is yours. Thank you. 